So we come now to the Novice Cup. This is the second part of the competition, which started this morning. In the first part, it was a jumping competition. This is a full agility course. Small dogs, medium dogs, and large dogs. Four, four small, four medium, four large. Uh, I beg your pardon, eight large. So we're meeting our judge now. Here she is, Helen Saunders, who is the agility judge from Crawley in Sussex. She says that she feels very honored to be asked to judge here. Such a prestigious event, and she's looking forward to it immensely. Well, as I expect she would, of course she would. Her first dog, by the way, was an Irish setter. I don't think that would have done an awful lot of agility, but it might have. But anyway, here she is judging at Crufts the novice cup now, all these dogs competed this morning in the jumping competition they're going in reverse order so this was the slowest of the small dogs probably had the most faults um, and this is a separate competition but it will be amalgamated to give a final com uh, combined result at the end of the event so we've got bernadette bay with gizmo a two-year-old sheltie now, as usual greg partridge is with me Graham, what did, how did they actually qualify for this event? Uh, they qualified by uh, taking part in the competition at the International Agility Festival held in August every year, organised by the Kennel Club. It's the largest agility show in the world. And they qualified to come through here into Crufts. Now, this is Bernadette Bay. Uh, regular viewers will know that she's very experienced. She's got lots of shelties. Um, it's a very young shelties. dog, just two. Absolutely. Good round, time there, faultless, 34.55, it's a good time. Absolutely, uh, she just carries five faults from this morning, unluckily had a pole down. So that's, the, that's what they're all going to have to chase. Uh, it's a good time. And uh, I was... I was been disparaging about uh, Irish setters taking part, but well, this isn't an Irish setter. <laughs> this is uh, a lovely little chocolate cocker. Or liver, isn't it? Liver is, liver the, right is the right word, cocker. yep. And this is Dare with Rosie Cavill from Newport in South Wales. Little bitch, this one. Three years old. It's a tight course. This area is not too difficult, but there is a couple of bits coming up which we'll show you. And there was a fault there, I think. Here we go. Now we've got the choice of which way to go around that one and into the weeds. This is her young dog, Peter. She's got uh, another one, an older one, which we saw competing earlier on. Nicely weighting down the seesaw. That was good and finishing well there. Time of 41.18, but with five faults. And there we go over the A-frame. See this? Nicely made contact. Well, this is Whoopi. He's a crossbreed with Elizabeth Saggers from Hellingley. Whoopi is a two-year-old bitch. Yes, another another young dog, only two years of age. Bearing in mind, we've said before, you can't start competing at kennel club events until they're 18 There's a fault of there age. on the A-frame, jumping off too soon. Must make points, must make these contact points. Oh, oh. no refusal as it happened, but uh, just cost them time. A lot of time going here. Yeah. That is, I think... She came out of the weave. Came so. out of the weave too soon. There we go, going back again. Neatly done now. Of course, it's cost an awful lot of time and five faults. Little dog can only just weigh down the seesaw. And over they go. There we are, 50.37, 10 penalties. Yes, plenty of time to uh, to bring this dog on. Oh, yes, that was a good miss. The judge's arm goes up, but... Uh, yeah, she'll be back again. It is amazing how they leap off so early sometimes. <laughs> it's rare, but the younger the dog, the more likely, I suppose, that is it's, to happen. It's the excitement. We've got a working cocker coming up to the line now. Look at that frisky little thing. Isn't that gorgeous? Lara Staplehurst here with Chloe. And this is a six-year-old bitch from Epsom. First yes. agility dog for her, this one. Uh, 
she's done very well, well. bearing in mind this is a, a competition for novice dogs so these are all younger or less experienced dogs who have not progressed uh, necessarily through the grade so they were all in grade three four or five at the time of the qualifier cockers are such busy little dogs i mean it's, it's just something you've got one you? just go the I'm puppy a, i'm a little bit uh, biased i've got one which i'm besotted <laughs> by at the moment four months old yeah <laughs> Nicely into the weaves. Ears going everywhere. Look at that. Fantastic. And look, the time's good. Time's good. Faultless so far. And could be going into the lead here. Yes, I think they're in the lead. My oh, word. Yeah, very nice. Look at these ears going there all over the place. Very nice. Double footing through the weaves, you'll notice there. Double footing. Well, there's a technical yep. <laughs> Very nice. So we're just moving the equipment up uh, for the medium dogs. That's right. Being adjusted up a notch. So we come to the medium dogs. And uh, although we did have a Sheltie in the small dogs, it was a very small Sheltie. And this is we, the first dog that we'll see in this is also a Sheltie. Yep, Shelties tend to be uh, the breed standard. They go up or down, but of course they don't have to be pedigree, registered pedigree. So they don't necessarily have to meet the breed standard um, for that unless they're registered on the pedigree. This is one of the nice register. things about the Shelties is that we're not dealing with uh, pedigree dogs here. And uh, I mean, the show is, uh, has room for all dogs. Absolutely. And it's wonderful to see them. And that's the way it should be. This is Harley, seven years old, little dog from Poole, comes here with Karen James. So we're just now this dog could move up, I mean, it is a novice still, but it's already uh, competing grade five. Yep, still in grade five at the moment. As I say, she could move up. Oh! Had a really good look at the end of that dog walk. Managed to call it off, though. I always say, well, you know, the judge is trying to catch them out, but they're not. They're putting interesting reasons why the dog may go the wrong way, and it's up to the handler to make sure the dog goes the right way. We, we, it's the same for all of them. We giggle about this every year, but it's it's handling points, not trap speed. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree with you, actually, but I'd like to wind you up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Again, double footing through there, which means it's hopping with both feet alternately through, through the pole. Lots of encouragement there. Very nice. Made the contact a little bit slow. 43.9. It's a good time. That's the first of our medium dogs to go. We've got three more to go. Interesting little dog, the next one coming on the course. This is a, a miniature American Shepherd. It's a two-year-old dog called Faye with Naomi Hall. Yeah, this is a pat dog. Starting to become uh, more popular. They're not recognised by the British Kennel Club at the moment. There's a movement to try and get them made. They are uh, up in America, I believe. I mean, looking at it there, you've got a Merle for the Collie. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and a noisy one at that. Well, this is one competition where they're not penalised for making a noise. They can nope. be as noisy as they like. And this one's talking the whole way around the course. Just telling her exactly how much fun he's having. She's been nice and clear about what she's telling the dog to do. It's all about communication. The dog doesn't know where the course goes. There's only about 100 of this breed in the country at the moment. Yeah, but they're becoming more popular. She's doing really well here at the moment, still clear. It's going to be a decent time, Peter, I think. She is much quicker. 36.5, Nelly, yes. Very good, very good. And on the start line now, just taking off, is a Cavapoo. You ever heard of those? Cavalier cross with a poodle. This is Tracy Masters from Rudgewick with Freddie, who is a nearly five-year-old dog. Ooh. Fabulous Freddie. Just had a, a momentary hesitation there. Yep. Was it just a hesitation that they get just fired it was. for it? Yes, it was. They just really stopped. 
Into the weaves. Into the weaves. They must go in and out, and they must complete them before they move on. No penalties. Interesting looking dog. Oh dear, well, you get a penalty for that. That's an elimination. <laughs> Missing one out completely. That very dramatic gesture. <laughs> and that's <laughs> really just judge. to make sure that there's no doubt with the person <laughs> recording the, the details that it's been eliminated. You've been eliminated. And there we go. Making sure the seesaw touches the ground before they get off. That's for safety. And straight pass. Didn't fancy the soft no. tunnel and has gone. Just one more medium-sized dog to go. This will be with Kate Davis, who's just putting Maisie on the start line. Maisie is a three-year-old bitch, Border Collie Cross Cocker. Miss Maisie Minks, and was a birthday present on Kate's 13th birthday. Which means that Kate's only 16. <laughs> Yeah, as I say, three years of age, still quite a young dog, uh, doing very, very well. There's lots of distractions here. Most of these, because these are the more experienced dogs, will never have been in this atmosphere or in this carpet before. So it's and a great it test. Is, it is a heck of an atmosphere. Absolutely. You know, there's, there's probably more than 4,000 people in this uh, arena at this time on a Thursday afternoon is remarkable. It is. It's a great crowd. Come on, let's have a big finish. That was a good finish, 37.5, and it's faultless. Well done. Well done. I think that puts her in... Second place in the medium. Very nicely done. So now we're going to go uh, up again, exactly the same course, but they're going to set it for large dogs. Um, and if you're interested, the hurdles or the jumps are going to go up to 650 mil. And this is for dogs which are over 430 mil. Um, you know, I can, co I can cope with inches, I can cope with feet, I can cope with centimetres, I can cope with metres. What millimetres stretches my but imagination a bit? 2.1 two and a half inches, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got that written yeah, down, so I, I have, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and they're waiting patiently on the start line. I think we've got uh, Sarah Young. This, this is Sarah Young with Juice. Juice is a Border Collie bitch, two years old. It's a lovely registered name, come by in a way ever ready. But they're not well, she come from Froome. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Sarah had one of our dogs that we bred uh, a number of years ago, did really, really well with it. Uh, this is her young dog. Uh, she's a great trainer, great handler, Sarah. Always there or thereabouts. And this is why they're in the novice competition. They're progressing up through the grades, and I've no doubt that we will see this dog maybe next year in, in grade five or grade six. So there we are with all the jumps raised. Oh, my word, that's so close to the bar. Didn't touch it, but got a penalty already. So five against them already. Absolutely. Oh, oh that's and that's a refusal, I think. This now has been there. Oh, will be. That is a refusal, and a third refusal will be elimination. Made it that time. This now for Sarah will be about the chances of winning about the window, about keeping the dog happy, making sure it enjoys its cross experience, because when it comes back again, she'll want it happy. And well, the, the dogs can't know they've made a mistake. No, they have absolutely. no idea. They just, they just do what they're asked to do. Well done. And well done. And uh, a lot of praise. Make the dog happy, as you say. Keep them pleased. And just as she comes up to this second jump, she just takes it so tightly. It really oh, was then, tight, wasn't it? Oh, and then a catch turn just took her eyes off the dog again. Yeah, the dog's now lost a little bit of focus here. So we've got Andy Sandercock now with a little, this dog's called One. He's a border collie, he's three years old. They come from Wellington in Somerset, and it's a Nedlow breed. This is a very famous breed in, uh, in agility. Absolutely, this is uh, Andy's young dog. He's been here, I think, with other dogs. Been a member of the British team in his time. So he's got great high hopes for this dog, I believe. Picking up five on the down on the A-frame. And picked up five. Nice finish, but they have got five points, and it was probably on the A-frame. I think it was missing the contact point, we think. We'll take a look at it. Here it comes. There we go. Clear jump off, yes. 
So and the trouble is, when you see it in real time as a judge, as I was there last year, as you know, it is difficult. Linda Hutchinson now with Brooke, who's a three-year-old Border Collie dog, called Border Paws Dark Secret. And Linda bred this dog. She said he'll enjoy it. Whatever happens, he'll enjoy it. Now, let's have a nice jump off this. That's good. Oh, and yep. wrong course, wrong course, wrong course. Uh, it's an elimination. Wrong yep. course means elimination. Very disappointing there. They were going very well, but... Uh, she will. Linda will be. Uh, will take this as they take the positive. She was a replacement for someone who had to pull out. So she'll she'll be just glad of the experience. Well done to Linda. And they finished and they're happy. And uh, Brooke has no idea that he did anything wrong. Bless him. <laughs> there we go. Next, we've got a pairing from Norwich in Norfolk. Bruce Lyons with Wiz. Wiz is a working sheepdog. Two-year-old bitch. Bruce says this one is very intelligent, has great drive, loves training and competing. Well, we'll see how we go here. There we go. Just positioning the Bruce dog is actually a legs. professor of economics at the University of East Anglia in Norwich. Wonderful university. He's ready. He's ready. I don't think the dog studied there, though. <laughs> oh, and there's an elimination on the first run. Oh, dear. Eliminated right at the start. Wrong course. Such a shame there. I mean, I thought we might get one or two have a look at it. We have one look at it, but it was pulled off earlier. But um, it's a big draw, and of course, you spend a lot it's of time. It's in a straight line with the, with the first jump. Absolutely. And unless you've got yourself in the right position as handler, the dog can make that mistake. Disappointing. Yep, it is, and he'll, he'll be disappointed. However, as you say, he'll uh, he'll keep going. He'll make sure the dog's happy and contented. Um, and then he'll work on that. He'll it wasn't away. a bad time. Look at the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very good time, but of course, they were eliminated. So. Okay, next thing we've got Mandy and you can see, but he's coming into the ring next. Part of the problem is he set the dog up looking directly at the dog walk. Try and set it on the angle, um, and that takes the dog walk He was almost it. trying to stop, wasn't he? Yep. He got, yeah, yeah. started to turn, but he was too late. Coming into the ring now and just taking the place there is Kiva, another border collie uh, bitch, three years old, with Mandy Melville Love from just up the road in Dudley. Yeah, bear in mind, we're coming down to the last few. These are running in reverse order of where they finished in the jumping this morning. So these were the better ones from the morning. We've got uh, two more to go after this. Absolutely, and we'll be combining the results to uh, the times and the faults, if there were any. This is a very nice But this is a separate competition in its own right. So there is a winner of this competition anyway, and it should come out of these last three. Yep, Mandy come on in leaps and bounds in the last couple of years. Uh, her confidence has grown and it shows the way she handles her dogs now. Very, very nice indeed. Well done, fantastic. That was a cracking round. 37 seconds, very good. And they're in first place. And there we go, all the way down. Yep, very nice. No time wasted at all there. And again, we see this double feet coming through the, the weaves. Is that something a dog picks up naturally or do you train it? Sorry, we're watching Missy. This is a Kelpie and they're quick. Uh, eight years old, this bitch from Minehead with Lucy Waldron. Yep, just lost a little bit of time there again. She went two or three yards towards that dog walk. So that's going to cost them in time. I thought they were going wrong for a second there. <laughs> Don't say anything. <laughs> Opting to go around the, that side of that jump into the weave. First one. First one to go that way around. I think it's tighter, actually. It's better that way, but there we go. Nobody else picked it. This Kelpie's doing very well. This is a good time. I think it should go into first place. And they're clear. 36.3.4. 36.4 rounded up. That's good. 36.36 in first place. That's what our last dog with Graham Meader will have to do. Or oh, have we got two to go? We've got two to go. 
So after Graham, there is one more. I thought there were only two to go, but this is on. So as we're getting nearer and nearer to the end, we're getting better and better. This is Gemma, six-year-old Border Collie bitch from Ipswich in Suffolk. Yeah, been on the agility circuit for a number of years. They always do very well. He's got high hopes for this dog. Well, I don't know what high hopes, because he's already here, isn't he, really? So, <laughs> um, well, that's why this is still novice. We have to remind ourselves oh, that we dog. are in... Oh. Oh. And the wrong no, course in the end. Oh, oh dear, oh, dear. What a shame. I think that's probably my fault. Um, Curse of the commentator. There just, you go. Yeah, I think Graham's suffering from a few cross nerves, I think, really, just, just rushing it slightly, but... A lovely dog, still still very young. If we, um, if we take a look at the position where they finish, if we take a look at the position where he was, that would have thrown the dog, perhaps. Yeah, here he comes. And now he, he turns. He turned the wrong yeah. way. Didn't he? And we were talking about spatial awareness. Um, Absolutely. You need to know exactly where you are at any given time. It was almost as if Graham wasn't aware of where the dog was. It was, yep. it was a strange one, that. What a shame. But they pick up on the what tiniest movements of the shoulders, Absolutely. don't they? Yeah, that's pressure. So, last to go. This is the one that could win. Janet Thompson from Hayden Bridge in Northumberland with Wish, who is a three-year-old Border Collie bitch. Border Paws, Dark Wish. First time together at Crafts. And having led this morning for the large dogs in the jumping competition, can they repeat that now? in the agility going well so far i mustn't curse it oh, nicely through the weaves there Bark and its enjoyment come on you just need a nice steady seesaw yep nicely done oh this is a cracking a run that's the winning yes, run well done. oh yes oh yes and that means they will win the combined as well Excellent, excellent performance. This is the winner we're looking at. Border Paws Dark Wish from Hayden Bridge in Northumberland. What a lovely performance. That's the Novice Cup. Yeah, what a great competition. Um, and it really does encourage the, the younger dogs, uh, the novice dogs. And, uh, and we expect, I expect, hopefully, we should be commentating on them again in the higher grade competitions. We'll keep an eye on for that one. Absolutely. Thanks very much, Graham. So Border Paws, Dark Wish, Exmoor Kangaroo Kid, and Dream Chart, Kiva's Thunder.
Shit. Yeah, we've, we've got the results of the last round on Hippo and Trumpet. What we're going to need, are you going to do a banner uh, for the uh, overall? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's presentation time.
And starting off in second place in the small dog, second place was Lara Staplehurst with a Cocker Spaniel, Camiven Dark Wish. Well, these are the prizes and now the for the small Bernadette dogs. Bay. There she is. Bernadette Bay. On to the medium. Yeah. Second place in medium was Kate Davis with Miss Maisie Davis. And Kate Davis, who's the uh, in second place, the runner-up, Naomi Hall, wins the medium-sized dog. And with the large dogs, as you've just seen, Lucy Walden is in second place. But a fantastic performance by this last dog, Janet Thompson. She wins the large competition. And this means that uh, we now have a result from the combination of the two competitions. Right, so this is a presentation now for the overall, the jump in the scoring, and also the agenda this afternoon. We're doing small first of all. In so there we have Bernadette Bay, Bay with, the, with, Bay boys with the small dogs. These are the agility winners overall. And the winner. Bernadette Bay. As we've just seen, and Naomi Hall, and the medium dogs, and Janet Thompson with the large dogs. They're the winners of the Box overall the mediums, Novice the Cup. In second place was Naomi Hall. Well done, Naomi. And the overall winner in first place, the mediums, is Katie Davis. Well done, Katie. Off to the large dogs. The large dogs in second place. It was Lucy Waldron. Well done, Lucy. And the award's just the being made now for the overall, which I've just given you the results of. In second place with the large dogs, it was Lucy Walden. Things haven't changed. It was the same as the competition we've just been watching. The combination meant that Janet Thompson wins also the overall for the large dogs.